a little bit of time before we start. And I feel like taking a fucking shot, so. Cheers, motherfuckers. Ugh. Ugh. That's so terrible, actually. Don't, don't take shots of gin. It's good gin, though. It's good gin. But oof. My god. Oof. <laughs> Got me all loosey-goosey, though. Got me all loosey-goosey. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cocktail Kitchen, episode four. And today, we have a clearly new camera setup, motherfuckers. It's kind of awesome. I'm in love with it. It's hard. It's hard as fuck to, you know, set up. Just a little insight into this. You know, here at Sobered, we believe in constant improvement. It doesn't matter if you're shit. No, no, no. As long as you're better than before, and you keep getting better. <laughs> today, we are going to be making gin cocktails using the botanist gin today which is a really good one. I'm gonna say shout out Babish because he's a huge inspiration of mine, but <laughs> he doesn't need a shout out from me. <laughs> but anyway, Botanist Gin, super delicious. It's really good. Uh, don't take shots of it. Don't take shots of gin. That's horrendous. Let's start off by making the classic Gimlet. Okay, so to start off making the Gimlet, we're gonna put a handful of ice in the shaker tin and then pour in two and a half ounces of your gin. Yes, this is a very strong drink. It's very gin forward on this. Then we're gonna take one lime, cut that lime in half. Check this shit out. You gotta do it slowly with this one because the shit likes to just fucking... <laughs> you know, just kind of leak and oh, squirt everywhere like that. The squeezer's pretty good though. It's got like little rubber feet on the bottom. We're really aiming to get about a half an ounce right there, 15 milliliters. That one didn't quite do it, so we might have to do the whole lime. I'm just gonna put the other one right on top of it. Get a little extra squeeze action going. This is taking a really long time. Squeeze that shit. All right. And there you go. Exactly half an ounce. Except for, you know, all that that's on the fucking table. Boom, dump that right in there. That's a nice, fresh lime juice. And then we're gonna do half an ounce of our simple syrup. This is a two to one simple syrup once again, just because it's shelf stable, you don't have to keep it in the fridge. And that is it. That's the entire gimlet. You're just gonna go ahead and close that up. And then, let's see how we did. Strain it over your fresh big ice cube. Oh, that looks great to me. Oh yes. And then of course, because I'm a fancy bitch, Forget about it, look at that, it's fucking gorgeous. It's classy, it's limey. What else can I say about this? That's already so many descriptors. Let's try it. Oh, that's so good actually, like no bullshit. Normally, I add a little bit of soda water, but this one doesn't need it at all. This is perfect, the perfect gimlet. If I go to a bar and I order this, I'll be very, very happy. It's a little bitter, obviously, from the lime, because it's not lemon. Obviously, it's still got that sour. It's got that mouth puckering sourness. But it's not overwhelmingly sour. It just makes you salivate, makes you want more. And that bite, the simple syrup, just takes away all the bite of that gin. So you're, all you're getting is that fresh botanical flavor, that, that gininess. And this botanist, it says it has 22 foraged island botanicals. I couldn't tell you what... Uh, 21 of them are. I'm sure one of them is juniper. All I know is that this is absolutely delicious. And if you're gonna make any of them at home, you should try this one first because it's very simple. I'm just bouncing around all the cameras just cause I can. What are you gonna do about it? You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm a fucking madman. Every sip just adds more flavor, more of that gin. It's kind of strong, but it just goes down. It just goes down like water.
pretty good. With drinks like these, it's really awesome because the gin goes so well with those fruity, citrusy, more herbal, like botanical flavors like that. Obviously, it's got all the botanicals. It's fucking amazing. It's really good, and it's easy to add on a little bit of ingredients and make it 10 times better. It really elevates it. So what we're gonna do to this is add a little bit of basil and cucumber. So now we're gonna make the basil cucumber gimlet. Woo! <laughs> So, this time, before adding anything, we're gonna go ahead and plop in a few basil leaves, which I got from my garden earlier today. Roll the clip. You're just gonna drop in. I'm on. I like basil a lot, so I'm gonna put in like six or seven leaves up in there, as you can see. But uh, you can do however many you want. It doesn't really matter. I like basil a lot. Honestly, I'm gonna throw this whole shit in there. <laughs> that you probably won't want to do, but this this basil, it smelled honestly like I don't want to. I don't want to shit talk or anything. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be out here bragging or nothing. But this basil smells fucking fire. Like, it's so good. Then you're gonna go ahead and dice up one cucumber. I also like cucumber a lot, so I'm probably gonna put quite a bit. Probably more than most people would. The dicing of this is very, I mean, you can do it a lot of ways. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna put all that in there. I mean, that's a fucking lot. About a handful of cucumber. That much. Throw it right in there. And then I'm gonna put in my simple syrup to let the sugar take those essential oils out of the basil. And then that'll be able to infuse it into the drink. So I'm gonna do my three count. About three quarters of an ounce. And then you're gonna take your muddler and you're just gonna muddle that baby up. And a nice squish and twist. You know, the, the good old squish and twist. When it's all nice and squished and twisted, pour in your regular two and a half ounces of gin. Lime juice once again. So you just you want the juice of about a lime. As you can see, these limes were not very juicy. That one was whoa. That's pretty good. We're almost up to half an ounce. And you know what? That's just gonna have to do because I'm not squeezing another fucking lime. Still ice in here, so I'm gonna use the rest of that too. Some dirty ice. And shake it. Oh my god. That's why you use two hands. That's why. Coolio. Here's our glass. Bada bing. Bada boom. Strain that motherfucker. looking good to me and then we're gonna do something a little cool I'm gonna cut this like this it's not gonna work I forgot my fucking peeler hold on all right we're back so that that first one you didn't you didn't fucking see that shit but here you go just gonna take a peel of cucumber like this mm -hmm. nice and long rip oh shit oh shit Ooh. okay ta-da It unfurl like a little eel in there. That shit's cool. Let's try it. Let's see how the fuck this is. I'm really excited about this actually. Mm. Mm. That's really good, dude. That's really good. Wow. I am impressed with myself, to be honest. That shit is fucking delicious, actually. Like, really good. So, let me talk you through it here. So the first thing you get, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of sweetness from this, simple. Then the lime bitterness comes in, and then the gin right after that. So you're feeling a lot of like, it's sweet, 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 and then bitter, 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 strong. Boom, back down into the cucumber and basil, 
And that's where you really get it, right at the end. It's really good at that evolution. And then those herbs, you really gotta, it's like the finisher all the way at the end there. And that's really all you're getting at the end. With a little bit of that botanical from the gin, those floral notes, those herby notes. I just love this drink, actually. I think this might be one of my new favorite drinks. I am really, really surprised, actually. I, I, I didn't, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting, but that wasn't it, and that was exactly what I think it should have been, you know? I. Th for a, a basil cucumber gimlet to work, I think it needed to be this exactly. And it fucking does. I'm 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 sauced. I love this shit. So good. Wow. Genuinely just fantastic. And you know, it still has that mouth puckering quality of the previous gimlet. It's still that sour, that deliciousness. It makes you just want to keep drinking it. Listen. As I said before, the gimlet, super fucking easy to make. Literally three things and you're done. It's so good. Do it, make that one, and then do yourself a favor, make this one as well. Get yourself a little bit of basil, a little bit of cucumber, make this one, and then you'll see how fucking amazing it is. Major improvements, major, major improvements over the regular gimlet.